Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins and in this demo I want to show you how to write to a CSV file and the next demo I'll show you how to read from it. So CSV stands for comma separated values. So basically you're writing out some data followed by a comma, some more data followed by a comma and so on. If you open that file in Excel, each bit of data will open in its own cell. So I have started this already. I have main, I have a method write to CSV file. It takes in a string from the file name doesn't return anything, so it's void return type and static, which means I don't need to create an instance of this class to call the method. I can call it directly from main. So in main, I'm going to create a string for the file name and just call it numbers.csv. So the, the advantage of the extension here is just to open it in a corresponding application, like a dot doc would open in, in Word and so on. So CSV will open up in Excel. Now, write to CSV. So what I'm going to show you here is we're going to use the try with resources statement, which means that, I'm not let type this first, try, round brackets and curly brackets. So a resource that implements closable interface can be um, instantiated inside the try, the round brackets, and when that block is finished, it'll automatically be closed. So what I'm going to use to create and write to the file is a print writer object print writer so i'm using control space so that i get the import up on top you need the import if it's not in the java line package and this is the java.io so print writer just to instantiate this pw equals new print writer and control space here so i can see that uh, the print writer constructors take a file and output stream a string so that's what i want and the string is going to be passed in from main in numbers.csv that will be passed down to main and that will be passed into the print writer object now just hover over here so this will be about an exception on handle exception type file not found exception so i need to catch that that's known as a checked exception if you write code that call if you write code that calls a method or a constructor that might throw a checked exception you need to deal with it you can throw it again for the calling method to, to deal with it, but I'd be throwing it back to main. I'd still have to deal with it. So the other alternative is to pop in a catch. Catch in round brackets here. It was a file not found exception. And give it a name. So E, just tradition there. And if this happens that I can't find the file, I just want some more details about it. So I'm going to do an e.printStackTrace. And before that, just do a printout. Um, error writing to file or creating file error creating or writing to file yeah inside the try box so here is where I'm going to write my, my lines of code to just output some numbers so I'm going to use the print writer pw dot write so I can write out a string, a character, an int, or whatever. So those methods with the same signature, or sorry, same name, different parameter lists, they're known as overloaded methods. So I'm going to write out um, just any number and a comma, or sorry, a plus, concatenate here. I'm just going to add on a comma. So I know I'm writing out to a CSV file, but I have, I have to physically write out the commas there uh, myself. So copy that just to put in a few more numbers there. So anything at all, 12, 25, and 50, it doesn't matter. Now, when that's finished, I'm going to print out finished writing to file. The reason that I'm doing that is if I run this code, um, if I don't put in a printout, nothing will show in the console and I won't think anything has happened. So. If I don't call the method from main, it also won't do anything. So call the method by its name, write to file, write to CSV file, pass in the file name. Now, run that. Save it, yes. And finish writing to file. So, just been finicky, I'm going to put in a full stop there. <laughs> now, to locate the file, it's going to be in the same directory as where Eclipse stores this project. So I've loads of packages. Project is called all code. So what I need to do is open up Windows Explorer and go into C Drive, Users, Multimedia, Eclipse Workspace, all code, and that is where the CSV file is. So I'll open up that to check the contents. 
and squished. <laughs> there we go. So each number I wrote out when opened up in Excel, I don't see the commas. And if I right click here and open with, we'll go with Notepad++, you can see there that the commas are put in after each value that I wrote out. Okay, let's close these. So that is how to create and write to a CSV file in Java. So I've used the Triwrite resources for a print writer. The reason that I've put D or instantiated the print writer inside the round brackets of the try means that when that block is finished, it will automatically close the print writer and the connection to the file for me. So pw.write, I've written out a comma and just to print out to say that it's finished. So I know that it's worked okay. So in the next demo, I'll show you how to read from that file.